Are you having problems with your rod getting stuck when you're TIG welding? I'm gonna help you out with some tips to get some clean dips. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode from Pacific Arc TIG Welding. My name is Dusty. I'm a welding artist from Vancouver Island, Canada. I do welding projects in both two-dimensional and three-dimensional surfaces. And on my YouTube channel, I love showing off and teaching the art of TIG welding. So if you're new to the channel, you've never seen this before, be sure to bounce back, check out the previous episodes. There's a ton of stuff there for you to watch. So one common question I get from people when they're first getting going with stainless steel TIG welding or mild steel TIG welding is why the heck does my TIG rod get stuck in the weld puddle? It's super annoying. Your plate slides around on the table because your rod's stuck to it. It leads to contamination. It leads to you bonking your tungsten into the workpiece and wrecking your tungsten. It's one of the most frustrating things when you're first getting going with TIG welding. So here's why it happens. One of the first things I I see when I'm teaching someone either in person or in my online training program is bad filler rod angle. Bad filler rod angle is very common when first getting going with TIG welding. So in this photo here you can see I've highlighted a bad filler rod angle. The filler rod angle is too open. And what I mean by open is it is not 90 degrees to the angle that the tungsten is at while you're welding. Anytime you have a filler rod angle that is excessively open like so, you're not gonna get clean break off into the weld pool with your filler rod. So when you go to put your filler rod into the weld pool, it's gonna stick on the edge, it's not gonna break off completely, it's gonna get stuck to your workpiece, or the fill might even miss completely, ball up on the end of your filler rod, if you ever see that, that's what's going on there. Another thing that's pretty common, I don't know the actual term for it, but I call it drag out. Basically, you can see here, this should be a round dot. This is an exercise we do in my online training program. This is a student who was having problems with a bad filler rod angle. Not a big deal, but you can see on the bottom edge there, there's a little drag out where the filler rod has been dragged out of the puddle because it was not put in with a proper filler rod angle. This is a proper example here where he corrected it. All of a sudden we have a round shape again and we don't see that drag out from the filler rod being taken out of the weld pool. So that's why filler rod angle is really important. So the second reason that that might be grabbing onto your TIG rod and causing you super frustration is this. You're not feeding the filler rod into the sweet spot of the weld pool. I went over this recently with aluminum on my channel, but here's a refresher and here's how we do it for stainless. The sweet spot for a puddle is gonna be somewhere in between the middle of the puddle directly under the tungsten and the leading edge of the puddle. It's gonna be about halfway of the distance in between those two markers. In this clip here, you can see me running along. Everything's breaking off nice and cleanly. This is a slow motion clip, so you can actually see the filler rod goes over the edge of the puddle slightly, but not underneath the tungsten. This is gonna be somewhere in the ballpark of your sweet spot. If you have a proper filler rod angle, proper torch angle, and your filler rod is going in on that sweet spot of the weld pool, you're not gonna have problems with your filler rod sticking to the workpiece. Simple one, you wanna make sure that when you first get going, you're really paying attention before you even start welding. Get comfortable, get set up, take a look at the angle that you're holding your filler rod. Only then, once you're nice and comfortable, flip down your hood and go for it. So do you wanna repay me for the awesome value that you got from my video here today? <laughs> You can do so by going out and doing a random act of kindness for a complete stranger. I don't care what it is, big, small, just do something to spread some positivity in the world. We need it. I hope everybody's doing well out there. We'll talk soon. See you next week. Peace.